If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clashes now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone, welcome back to, I guess, our first episode of Road to Players Cup. We are going to go ahead and start playing in the tournaments on PTGO. We're going to start using our tickets. I'll be uploading these um, periodically, updating you on how I'm doing and whatnot. And I will be playing with Baby Blacephalon this first tournament. Um, it's a deck that I've never really played at any big event, um, but I feel like it's a decent call for these small tournaments. It's, um, I don't know, it's a good option. It should get you a lot of um, easier-ish wins, right? Easier-ish wins against some, um, like against players that play very meta decks against the big Picaroms, against the big ADP stations, against the Dragapults, hopefully. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. This shouldn't uh, take too long to um, to fill up, right? And I'm gonna remove the jar. So this is just a video. Yeah, I'm remove a few things right here. Just my camera a little bit, and we are up against a pure fire deck. Right? Could be greens, Charizard, perhaps. Uh, we do win the coin flip. I'll choose to go first. Let's figure out what we're up against. Probably Green's Charizard, which could be a bad matchup actually. <laughs> could actually be a pretty bad matchup for us if they have Oma Star, which actually I guess we know they don't. Uh, but we see a Victini with Victory Heal. Um, could be a problem if I don't find a basic Pokemon right here. Uh, <laughs> please don't dunk me. <laughs> please don't dunk me. Please. Don't talk me, Kelsey Chan. Like, I have a pretty decent hand if I had a Blacephalon, but... Oof, there's a Fire Glint. Please don't talk me. <laughs> Two Fires gone. Please don't talk me. We could see Welder, Vitality Band, or Welder, Sigzagoon. Uh, but we see a Burning Scarf. Okay, can we get the talk done? We have a basic at least now. Still nothing. Still, still nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and welder to the Jirachi. Right, just the one, just so that I can like find more stuff. Alright. There I have it. I'm gonna go ahead and quick pull another fire. And we're gonna go grab station. There's no way for me to get the dunk here. I could grab Trombeak as well. Is that better? Yeah, grabbing Trombic is probably better. Just focusing on using B Catch, right? That means I do get the free, um, the, like two free cards is definitely better than, um, or two specific cards is definitely better than um, three random cards, right? That's why using Cramorant here is better because I'm also not threatened at all by that 50, right? So my opponent really needs to bench something. Didn't play a supporter last turn, didn't play another Pokemon either. Does play down a stadium, the hammer does not matter. And we might just get our first win through this dunk here. It's looking like it. I don't even know what this does. Uh, okay, so the burn stays, I guess. But now we can just... Uh, yeah, it's any Pokemon, right? Yeah, it is any Pokemon, so we're gonna Welder twice. Find the fire, get the spit shots, and dunk my opponent. So that against a regular meta deck, this game could have been really awful, right? This game could have actually been pretty awful for us, purely based on 
um, our start and the fact that we didn't get a second basic pull going out, but that's the game, right? That's the game. So now we wait, right? Now we wait. Um, obviously, I will edit out the time between now and the next tournament match, so I will see you in just a second. All right, round two of the tournament finally getting underway. Took like, a, like an extra eight or so minutes. Um, all right, I didn't notice what my opponent was playing in the previous screen. I do win the coin flip again, so I will get to go first yet again. And now with a completely different hand than the previous one. Pretty nice, pretty, pretty nice. This is almost a dream hand with Baby Blown. Almost a dream hand with Baby Blown. All right. All right. Okay, so we do see a station. Can I go ahead and fire Flint? And then we do have two energies are prized. Uh, um, Recorder station, crown lights are all there. It's pretty awesome. On the adventure bag, on the beast bringer, the welder is prized. What do I have prized? I have two, one scoop of med, one switch prized. Mm, two fire crystals are prized. And the two energies. There you go. That's our six price cards. Now I get to Stellar Wish here for the escape board. Saves me the scoop up net. That's pretty nice. We'll go ahead and bench. We'll go ahead and touch. Go ahead and touch this as well and then we will pass. No guarantee that we knock out that station. That's okay. This was the last match. Ooh. Well, that's not very nice. Let's see, a quick ball for Fion. No, for Tedene, all right. I mean, so this is probably either a combo station or ADP station. All right, I'm okay trading. I'm okay trading. And, like, what? So my opponent will knock out Jirachi, right? But if I knock out the Fini, then what was the point? That feels a, like a big, like a big stretch on my opponent's part. Um, that card is just a beautiful top deck to get. That card is just absolutely beautiful. This card is also pretty beautiful to see. And we have our fire crystals, so I'm fairly sure I'm guaranteed the KO. Yes, I am. And this is just fantastic, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and bench these two guys. I'll go ahead and fire Crystal. I do need three fires to knock out this guy, but that's perfectly, perfectly okay by me. Firebolt Circus, unless my opponent plays double Feeny, or even like quad Feeny, which I really doubt, right? Take the prize, that's okay. Um, pretty good draws on my part. For the most part, I'm really surprised my opponent was that aggressive, um, but hey, who am I to complain, right? We're gonna get Marnied, that's perfectly fine by me. We still have plenty of energy in the deck, we are going to lose the Welders, which I don't feel like my Blood Evil is very threatened right now, so that should be okay to have them at the bottom of the deck. Uh, there's the Marnie. does pick up the Mewtwo, does indeed pick up the Mewtwo. And we find a Fire Flint, which is all you can ask for, right? Like, can't ask for much more. Fire Flint, Welders, all the good stuff. There's one Metal Saucer, um, but once again, like, even if I get knocked out, I have the Fire Flint, the Welder, the Stadium, and the Ericorio to draw at least... Like, I'm gonna draw naturally at least 10 cards, and I'm also gonna send Fires from the deck, so that's pretty cool. Um, definitely getting rid of the Mew and the Station, right? Not scared of that guy at all. We'll find the four fires. And then I only need one fire for the active, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat factoring. 
start us off, we'll go ahead and play the adventure bag just to thin. I don't want to draw these bringers at all, they're not useful anymore. And then I will use Welder, right, onto this guy. Now I have two Blast Evelyns powered up, which is what I want. And I do have four fires in the discard pile. There's no need for me to do anything else, I don't think. Um, I mean, I could knock out the Denny. So here's what I could do. I could go Great Catcher, right? Knock out the Denny. And then Seijin comes up and I go down to three prizes. Then Seijin comes up, I knock out the Seijin. And then all I need to do is GX for the win with Blast Cephalon GX. That sounds reasonable, right? That honestly sounds very reasonable. That honestly sounds very reasonable. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And in order to do that, I'm gonna discard these two. So I'm so confident in this that I'm gonna discard my Welder, which is pretty, pretty insane. All right, so then we go Firebolt Circus. Could have done that with by weldering onto Cramorant. Meh, it was much better to have this guy powered up. I also didn't have a switch. So there's a fire. I need four fires. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I didn't find a fire crystal of my prize cards though. So out of my three prize cards, I believe two are fire crystals still. Um, so that's not very nice. I do get more need out of my quick pull for the Dene. But find another energy there's still my stadium available so far discards a metal saucer surprisingly that is very surprising and something i wholeheartedly do not agree with like what else could possibly be more important than metal saucer i don't even know that one card my opponent kept Maybe it's just another Metal Saucer, right? Maybe that's what it is. All right, so my opponent will get the combo off. That's okay. That is actually okay. So we'll promote this guy. And then we will first, okay. I honestly think I did a change here. I mean, it opens up a win condition for my opponent, but he already has it with the recorder right there. In repeating the combo, I do have one fire and two energy retrievals. Oof. Those are actually not great odds that I get the KO here. Because my two fire crystals are prized. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. Okay, I'm gonna bench that guy. I have a bunch of switching cards still left, so I feel pretty safe doing this. So I'm gonna look at the next. I don't know, a bunch of cards. That's very nice. Possibly. We do need to thin as much as I can though. So I'm gonna quick pull away this. There's no more fires in my deck. I drew the one fire I had. So I'll grab the Cramorant. I need these two energy retrievals. Oof. I don't fancy my chances now of finding them. Dance of Tribute. Okay, this puts energy back into my deck. Which I feel like I do need to do, right? Just energy. Oh, uh, if I don't... I can't believe I prize my fire crystals, man. I actually can't believe I prize my fire crystals. Okay, so I'm thinning as much as I can. And I also have Stella Wish. So, I'm gonna use Heat Factory. There's one, right? And I have a bunch of Stella Wishes. Uh, that's not it. Not quite it. Is there even another basic Pokemon left in my deck? I don't believe there is. Nope. Oof. I mean, Fire Flint also gets us there. Fire Flint also gets us there. So I'll pick this guy up. Eight cards. I have two outs. And there we go. Fire Flint. And I discard Mewtwo and Jirachi. That makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so this could have been complicated, however, uh, because of my prize cards, 
but we end up pulling through in the end, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So honestly, I feel like keeping the switch is better than the scoop up net. So we'll do this, and then... I mean, if I bench this guy... Yeah, I should bench this guy. Because if he knocks this guy out, then that's fine. Firebolt Circus. I have the one fire left for the Blount GX to do the GX attack. I'm also getting at least one Fire Crystal here. <laughs> Top two Pride Cards Fire Crystals. I get the other fire though. And we should be good to go. Should be good to go. There's the Melt Saucer. Um, so my opponent can win, right? If he pulls off the combo plus a boss's orders, then he does win. Of my two card hand though, that seems very unlikely. He would need um, the boss's orders. Well, that could get him the dead end into the scoop up nets. He's down two scoop up nets and he needs the other two, right? He needs the other two. All right. So I have won this game, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, have won this game. I have won this game. All right. Gets the two prizes. Did have the great catcher that could have complicated things. And I need to do this quickly because someone's at the door. And then we go boop. One, two, three, four, five. Well played. And I will be right back. Alright, so I'm here in the final. In the final match of this eight-man standard tournament, winning the coin flip for a third consecutive game. Let's see if we can start Jirachi for a third consecutive game. That hand was pretty nice. Right? That hand was looking pretty, pretty nice. And we can. We can start Jirachi, however, no second basic Pokemon and that can be scary. That can definitely be a little scary. Okay, so we are guaranteed Pokemon. The Six Sigmund is a little scary as well. Mainly because we could be up against Obstagoon, Hopefully we're not, right? Hopefully we are not up against Topsigun. So I'm using Ultra Space first to thin, then I'm using a Fire Flint as well to thin. What I would love to find is one of my four Quick Balls in order to um, Graph Station and get more cards into my hand. So let's Dawish, wish and we do not, but we do find a Welder, possibly for next turn. I will go ahead and attach and we will pass. Didn't pay attention to the previous screen, so this might be Dragapult, this might be Obstagoon. Um, could be anything really, like Six Sigmund since Scoop Up Nets has been pretty popular. Uh, we do get Marnied out of our Welder. And seeing that Power Plants, I don't believe we're up against Obstagoon. Probably thinking more on, um, on the Dragapult train, right? Probably expecting more Dragapults than Obstagoon, but that's okay, right? That is A-OK -okay by me. Pretty sad hand for my opponent. I do even top deck the Welder, which is fantastic. So I'm hoping I'll be able to eliminate that six again. That's a very lucky top deck. Very lucky top deck for me. To find the other fire, I have to knock it on the six again. I have a Quick Ball which I don't think I'll be using, honestly. Don't think I'll be using quite yet. I'm gonna go ahead and Fireball Circus, the two energies. Get the game on the six second, like I said, I still don't know what I am up against. I do get the other Welder, so it's unlikely I end up using the Dene right now. Very, very unlikely I end up using the Dene. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Very aggressive starts on my side. Pretty happy about that obviously. And we see a Cynthia, so I'm still thinking Dragapult. I didn't pay attention to the previous screen because I wasn't here. The, the next match started so quickly compared to the first one. I was watching a video whilst I waited. And 
Nothing benched so far. Nothing benched so far. No action so far, right? No action so far whatsoever. Maybe a rage quit? No, okay, just debating on what to quick wall for and or discard. It is Dragapult indeed. It is indeed Dragapult. Um, the power plant could be a problem. Ooh, but we see absolutely nothing else for my opponent. So that is really good news, obviously. I'm not happy about this. But I'm also not super threatened, so I don't mind doing this. <clears throat> and my opponent simply concedes. Yeah, my opponent simply concedes. I wish I had a Fion in order to push back that Fion myself. Get a tournament ticket off of the roulette. That's pretty cool. We get two coins for our efforts. But we do end up winning a good amount of Rebel Clash packs. Um, three of them, two Unified Minds, one Unbroken Bonds and 400 coins, along with the ever-important tournament rep. So, a great start to our um, tournament rep goal. Um, if each win gives you 8 points, I believe it was uh, deciphered, I do believe my aim would be to win at least, I don't know, 20 tournaments? Which means 160 tickets, right? So... That means I need to win half of the tournaments I play in. Um, I don't know. I'm, 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 my goal is to exhaust all my tickets throughout the month of June. Obviously, these can be a little uh, slow, but um, but yeah, I'll be playing along. I'll be trying. I'll try to play very concentrated, and I'm sure I'll run into some of you during that time. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed these um, quick tournament videos. Um, as compared to the usual deck reviews, um, I'll try to alternate between the two. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.